before a child actually comes to school, a child is a great scientist because they're examining phenomena, they're picking up things, making things, pottering around, hammering things, breaking things. When they come to school, they promptly stop doing science because they just you know sit on chairs like this and say, "Yes, good morning, madam." This is what they say. Well, my name is Arvind Gupta and I did a B.Tech from IIT Kanpur in 1975. I started teaching uh, children of mess servants and then for five years worked in a school meant for the children of the mess servants. And this gave me first insights into how children learn. You know, if children use very simple materials from their daily life, they are able to make a link between science and their daily living. This is the cycle valve tube. And I found that a matchstick went in very snugly. If you had three of these and you looped them together, you made a beautiful triangle. If they use four, they make a square. The square may look very square and prim, give it a little push and it becomes a rhombus. If you make a bridge with square members and the train comes, it would start doing a dance. It would be a very weak bridge. But then you give a child a triangle and no matter what she does, her triangle remains a triangle. Now this is the bedrock of all mechanical and civil engineering. And if a child can hold the concept in her own hands, well, then it's like magic. This is a little straw and what you do is you just cut, nip two corners here and this becomes like a baby crocodile's mouth. Put this in your mouth and you blow. So no, you, no one needs to actually mug up that for production of sound we require vibrations. The other is that you keep blowing at it, keep making the sound and you keep cutting it and something very, very nice happens. When we started, and there was a lot of resistance from the part of the teachers, on the part of the parents. They would always say that there is so much course to cover. And if we do these activities, where is the time? They tend to forget that the great task of education is not to cover things, but to uncover. For over 30 years, Arvind Gupta has been creating these extremely low-cost learning toys and has reached out to over 2,500 schools. His how-to videos on over 700 toys have now received almost 40 million views on his YouTube channel. How amazing is he? Arvind Gupta's contraptions cover, or rather uncover, a whole lot of concepts in science. We've picked a few that we really liked and put them up on our website. Also, over the last few months, we've been collecting people who we wanted to feature. We're now looking to go city by city to film these people. To do this, we need filmmakers in various parts of the country to collaborate with us. So if you're someone who can make a film of the quality you just saw, do let us know. We really need your help. And as always, if you are someone who makes something interesting or know someone who makes something interesting, big, small, silly, anything, do let us know. <laughs>